Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Let's get to it, shall we? Do I have any, every every one of these episodes? I feel like I start with by telling you I have nothing to tell you, and then I immediately follow it up by telling you something. I don't think I have anything to tell you for this episode, though. We're playing Awoken. Uh, I should remind you: don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, I, I say it every time, but like it really it really does make a big difference. So it's worth me mentioning, even though. I told myself I would never be the type to, hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Or I didn't really tell myself, but I didn't expect to be this way. Like, oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But it actually makes a big difference. So, you know, feel free. Also, uh, apparently, because I just I just went and brushed my teeth. It's late. It's 4 a.m. Uh, one of my cats snuck in here, so she's going to be joining me for this episode as well. She's not, she's not one of the loud ones, though, don't worry. I'm just gonna have to get up and let her out of the room here pretty soon. Alright. Let's get to it. We got... Soulsucker Talos, Shadow Arcus, Patient Seraph. Dude, I've been playing, so, I've been playing against so much Arcus. I don't think I've seen Fel in, like, a week. Wild. Green Exile Red, Restoration, Detonation, Fledgling Imp, and the pr new Nerf Preserve Thorn. R.I.P. Preserve Thorns, it took a plus one. It was deserved. Like, this is... A lot of the nerfs that they've done in this game, especially energy cost increases, I've been like, oh man, I hate this. I agree with that one wholeheartedly. That nerf is super, super deserved. Thorn casing? Yeah. Cool. I like the thorn casing. Uh, it's interesting on which one of these you want to take into patience. Oh, she's at the door. I'm gonna go free my cat. One second. Now, here's a, here's a good joke for you. I'll cut that out in post. <laughs> I don't edit these. I'm gonna take Rejuvenate here. I feel like it's... Rejuvenate's good, I feel like, because of the Queen's Implings. It's bad because of Patient Seraph, but it's okay because of the Queen's Implings. I think it's fine. I think we can get there. I think that a lot of the times when you make a run that's, like, good except for it's bad in the Patient Seraph... What is this? How bad is it? It's like... Hmm... I think it's worth. Now, if you make a run that's good but bad into a specific Seraph, a lot of the times you can just kind of worm your way out of dying the Seraph and just piece it together. That's what we're going to aim to do here. I want... It's hard to say if I should go here. I think it's good. I'm just wasting this turn, and I really don't like taking wasted turns. But I think it's worth it. To not play. If I didn't lose space top four, I probably would have just played top four. However, I think that this is fine. Hopefully, we don't hit preserve thorns on this turn. Nice. That's good. I'm gonna play. Train Steward Fledgling Imp is actually pretty nice here. Maybe not. Maybe I should put Fledgling Imp in the back. I probably should have. There's the preserved thorns. No answer to this foot soldier, though, and also no healing for my sentient, so it's tough. We can recover. I mean, it's tough, but we can make a we can make a reasonable go of it here. It's a shame. I, I thought about the spikes trial for the purposes of this 5-1, and I realized it doesn't make a difference anyway. Like he's gonna be a problem regardless. And wouldn't this have been a nice hand last turn? Tragic. Absolutely tragic. It's okay. Uh, the trial isn't the problem, of course. The problem is just the old, uh, the old staple. I'm gonna take three damage for the trial, which I'm fine with. And you get what? 15. So it's 18 here. Yeah, that's fine. 18. It would have been 15 without the trial. It was a bad draw. It's hard to say on because so. Stacking regen is impossible, so you're just kind of guessing which floor to play on to hope that 
uh, you get to hit the boss with the most regen cards, right? And I guess if I looked at it, I could have planned it out and realized that would have been an awkward timing, but it's hard. It's it's not worth it. I'll take a sting here. Other helper is actually not good. Vent is pretty nice. I'm down with Vent. Especially on a, right after taking that much damage to no backline clears. Uh, I'm gonna go left, maybe? I just... Nah, I'm gonna go right, right. Yeah. What unit do I look for here? Good question. I could actually look for a tank for Patient Sarah. Endless. Man, there's an Endless Welder Helper on this gun. Ah. Hmm. One of these. Horn Warrior is... Bad. Yeah, Horn Warrior is bad. I think the thing to take here is nothing. I think that neither of these are good. And there, I knew that there was a pretty good chance of this being the case, where we just open this banner up and it's all bad. But that's okay. I maybe I'm gonna take Horn Warrior. Horn Warrior is okay. There's not. It's not a good reason uh, to skip. I should take the Horn Warrior, and I should just make sure that we survive the next combat using him. Although, I wish there was a plus 25 in here. Because if this is High Priest, it's awkward. It's possible that we lose if I agreed. I want to hold this money. I don't want to roll for this. I'm going to roll. I shouldn't greed. This is a really good hit, too. It more or less, like, th this is all my money spent, but it's to guarantee no death here. If this is High Priest, uh, it's like the one- it's the boss where I could have greeted fully. Tragic. Okay. If it were either of the other two bosses, then a bad draw order kills me, so, you know, I don't feel too bad about that decision. I'm gonna play middle four this time. Fine. I guess I could play top four. I'd rather use the Rage, though. With multi-strike on him, actually, I can pivot towards a Rage plan with Fledgling Imp as well. But the problem is I don't need that. Right. This is it's this is me getting myself mixed up here. It's nice, but I don't need that. My plan is regen. I need to land regeneration. And then I need a backline clearing, which is vent. Probably should have picked that trial, actually. In hindsight, I should have taken it. It's not hindsight of me going, oh, well, this combat went fine, so I didn't- I could have taken the trial. It's hindsight of me going, I need money for the magic shop. That's all. And I need to hit Vent. I don't need it, but I would like to hit Vent. Cool. And yeah, we would have taken- Yeah, we would have been fine without the- uh, no, we, I mean, we would have had a lot of problems without the multi-strike, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm. Take Razor Sharp. Could have taken Glimmer. Glimmer would have been fine as well. Uh, do I want to go Rage? No, I don't want to go Rage. I don't want to go Rage. I took Razor Sharp as well. Uh, oh, I kind of want to go Rage. But if I go Rage, then I was supposed to go Spikes here. And I don't need to. I think even just the Razor Sharp is enough with Horned Warrior like this. I don't need it. What I need is I need to kill backline. That's it. I don't need this. It's fine to not take it. I can... I, it's a little more awkward, I guess, because I didn't pull Wildwood Sap, though. Yeah. Hold over. Sick. That's really good. Could minus one the vent now, by the way. Uh, this does make it do two. Plus ten is better, of course, but it's interesting. Look at this first. Yeah, really bad. In hind- like, with this information, my path looks a little different. Although, I think that if I went left, I would have died here. So, you know, it's interesting. Put a minus one on Razor Sharp here. I think that's fine. Plus 20 and Consume I don't love here. I want to hold on to the Restores for sure. I should- actually, I should have minus one Restored. Although, if we pull Edge Pyre, then that's bad. 
Blood for Blood. Oh, Blood for Blood heals us like crazy if I take it here. Heartstone is really nice on this Horned Warrior. Take him up to 54. This is a huge heal, because this is Soul Sucker, right? Yeah. This is a lot of health back. On the last run, I remember not taking Blood for Blood and thinking that it was uh, a mistake, so I'm going to take it here. And also, we get a massive return right away from it on this combat. You heal so much here. If we play mid floor, we farm health. This is a this is a good tip you can use for yourself against specifically double barrel Daedalus slash soul sucker Talos. If you get blood for blood and on that combat you set up mid floor, you farm health like crazy. It's so much health. I'm overestimating a little bit or over exaggerating a little bit, I should say. But like, it's a it's a surprising amount of health, I think. And it's free too, the last two rounds are just free. Now, we don't have a great answer to how am I killing Talos right now. It is just kind of, we overpower Talos, which I guess is fine. I can't apply enough regen right now, which is concerning. But, hopefully it's fine. I need to clear Train Steward, and I don't need the Holdover Vent. Holdover Vent costs me Pyre Health. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I tried to be a little too greedy. Possible. Ah, we're fine. Never mind. Yeah, we're gonna take... We So we came... We were at 16. We took 6 for this Blood for Blood. And then instantly healed 20 there. Or I guess not 20, right? 16 healed. And then I sting you, and I take a little less. I think we're good. Yeah, it healed us back to 37 from 16. So, if nothing else on this run, it's already paid for itself, right? We're already net positive 15 on Blood for Blood. It's very good. Dark deal. It's not what I need. Unleash the wild, what is probably what I need here. You keep my sentient alive between Sire if the patient hits. Not ideal, but I need something. Dark deal. It's like, this is a lot of rage cards. Nah. I don't think I need Demon Fiend. What am I going to use him for? I don't think I need him. We're good. But single four setups against Seraph the Patient are really just asking for it. But at the same time, we're going to hopefully chump it with imps and bait imps to top fours as well. So maybe it's not so bad. I'm going to have to minus one and duplicate restore, aren't I? That's disgusting. Uh, removals are nice, but there's nothing great on the duplication front here. Uh, this card's okay. Razor Sharp. I'd rather go right, though. Heal and get a little extra money saved up for the next combat, or for the next uh, stop, and we get an artifact, which is... Oh, Bloating Fungus is huge. That's really, really good. Alright. Going all the way on Explosive. I'm not confident without Wildwood Sap. We need something else, for sure. Heaven Seal. How do I feel? I feel pretty bad about Heaven Seal. It's very variant, but then again... If he goes up, it's... how much? There's gonna be three of them. Assume two go up, which would be a very much worst case. We would take... Uh, 48... we'd take 38. I think it's fine. In the absolute worst cases, I'm gonna take 38 for this, which is... depending on the relic worth. It's a rough estimate, to be sure, but... you know. I think it's fine. Can I... was it? It's 60? Is it possible to... If I play it like this, it is. I think it's worth. If I hold this vent over, I guarantee the collector next turn as well. Collector was already ours, but... No. Take the train steward here, even. I do want to hold on to vent. Even though I don't need it on this turn, or rather it was more beneficial to play other cards, 
it's better on later turn. Probably. Yeah, and now we're gonna take very little for the trial as a whole. Very nice, very nice. Could have played the train steward, I guess, but I think it's good to save the health. Actually. I forgot to play my event. Oops. It's alright. Not ideal. Probably gonna take energy so I can play all these units and clear out some train stewards. Thank you, Unleash. This is two one fives behind. I should hold this over. Probably could have played the imps out, but it didn't matter. Like, it, it doesn't make a difference if I do or do not. Because playing them or not playing them, like the, the run or the combat's over here. Fine. We're gonna, we're gonna just kind of like skate by. Remember chest points, huh? Fine. Uh... Yeah, I don't really like any of these here. Wildwood Custodian, maybe. I guess Wildwood Custodian is fine. Kinda awkward. Impressive Pyre Chomp or Battering Ring. There's no reason to take any of these. I was okay with taking the Curses. I guess I could have let that first wave go by me. And then I could have just farmed some free health off of them. I don't think it was worth it. But it's interesting, I just thought of that. Going right, we need removals for sure, and we also want to buy a plus 10, maybe get a, another holdover would be good. Okay. Minus one on restore, and then... Ugh. Ugh. To make moves like that make me feel unwell. I would just like it if I could get one of these to be plus 10. Just one. Eventually it has to happen, I think. How many coin flips can you lose? A lot. I'm gonna move on. I don't want to restore or consume, or put consume on restore, rather. And spikes four. How worried am I? I don't respect this combat that much. A good preserve thorns draw. And we put it away, but in the bad cases, how bad is it? It is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Assuming this overcharged tank goes up, I think it's fine. We want to play, or we have to play top four here, and that's fine. There's no reason for me to be playing on the bottom four on this combat. This is, yeah, easy, easy top four. And then we just purge imps from the deck here. Or not purge, but play imps. I feel very... like, this is a run that I... I can see going either way, for sure. I would be surprised... Uh, not be surprised, but I can see either of the expected outcomes here coming to be. Really good Preserve Thorns to disarm that. And so our worst cases... I mean, that was our best case, so don't even have to worry about the worst cases. Uh, I do hold this over. But yeah, I can I can see this run going either direction reasonably. I'm interested to see where we end up. Uh, you got the basis of a restore plan here. Not a great restore plan, but no restore plan is built in greatness. Most of the restores are a plan where a regen plan based around restore is usually a tough one. But the other thing is we're gonna incant patient seraph a ton. So I'm going to need a lot of regen, but hopefully we can get there, is all I can say. Once we, uh, once we thin the deck out right now, it is pretty strong. In a, like, in a longer form combat, as, like, we're seeing here, as I say, like, a hundred times in one sentence. But as you're seeing here, right, in this longer form of combat, I am going to start to see turns that are just pure value, such as this one. I was going to say against any other Seraph I would just feel confident, but that's not true, because I would feel bad against Diligent as well. Because this is a deck that needs to be very thin, although I think Diligent would be easier. I wouldn't feel great either way. Uh, I play it... I, full... I, can... I can pull two rounds off of you here. May as well take the heal. Let me get two more rounds out. 
I'm not concerned. Should I be concerned? No. A little closer, but once we play these cards, it looks a lot better, I imagine. Oh, cool. Yeah. Not much to be worried about right now, but the looming Seraph the Patient combat is uh, weighing on me. You ever taken Graft here? Let me think. Is Engraft a worthwhile take? It. Let's talk pros and cons, right? Very simple. Restore one health, triggers the Rejuvenate. Gain one energy, draw plus one next turn. It's a Rejuvenate trigger that we gain plus one draw and one energy for. I think it is worth it, because if I slap a minus one on it, it's really good. Imps, huh? Impish Scholar would be the win if I had Wildwood Sap, but I do not. I need this deck to probably get down to 10 cards. And then I... not 10 cards, but like 10 cards after playing everything. Or so. Preserve Thorns counts for 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna be around 14. I'm gonna see 15. I'm gonna see most of this deck every turn. If I pull out... Uh, I can't pull Restores. I probably pull this Sting and then the Restoration Detonations. What is it? It's 2, 3, 6, 7, 9, 14, 17 right now? Okay. If I remove... If I were to remove 7 cards... These two could go... Ooh, and then you're getting into the... Then it's getting awkward. After, like, it's these two and this sting can go. That's minus three. We're at 14. And the reason it's worth considering this is because if I can guarantee Unleash the Wildwood every turn, I can probably sneak out of this alive. Hmm. Alright. Anyway. I'm gonna go right. I guess it's probably... It's close, right? It's really close. I'm gonna remove this sting. And I will say it was a mistake. Uh, it wasn't a mistake. The run is different now than it was then. At the time, it didn't seem bad. I'm gonna remove this restoration detonation. I can't... I can't guarantee this, so I should duplicate. Like, removing seven... Uh, let, me, let me talk it out, let me talk it out. It is worth talking through. If I can get this down to 10 cards post playing all my units out, then it's worth it to do it. Counting the Preserve Thorns. So this is plus 4 draw. So we have plus 5 draw here on next turn. Uh, these are 5. And I want my turn to just be 5 restores and unleash the Wildwood, basically. Given that... What do we have? We have so we have two dead weights. That's two. This is three. This takes us to six with preserve thorns. Seven on razor sharp. Eight on detonation. Thirteen with the restores. Fourteen and fifteen. So if I were to remove five cards, what would I remove? The razor sharp and restoration detonation go for sure. Uh, that puts us at what? So this is. So we're at. God, I lost count already. It's gonna be- we're gonna be here for a second. Trap tight. 6, 7, 8, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. Remove these two, we're at 14. Remove this, you're at 13. And then you start to get into it. 13. Probably two restores can go. Four regen per turn. Four regen per turn isn't enough, though. I would need to double... I, I need to replace one of these restores. So I think that every way that I look at this, I need to double this restore. Yeah. Okay. And we can start to get into the more technical side of it as we get further along. It's, it's a run that requires me to sit down and really think everything out. Because Patient Seraph is one that we have to be very, very prepared for. Gotta be sure about it. Yeah, I'm gonna not take this curse. I play Sentient first, and it's fine. Yeah. 
I don't want to take the curse. I want to play bottom four here. It might be a mistake. I'm not 100% certain. It's fine. I feel like our chances on winning here are uncertain. Is how I feel. I feel uncertain on the front. May as well play these here. Doesn't make a difference. It's a weird one, right? Like, it's a real weird one because I look at this floor and I do not go, ah, yeah. Now there's a winning floor. There's something that's really cruising. And yet, here we are, and I'm feeling pretty good going into Arcus, even. I do want to play this. It's mostly right now just balancing the first time through the deck playing units versus playing uh, the important regen spells. Is what we're troubled with. But this sentient is very strong. Maybe I'll get a plus 10 for vent eventually. Eventually? <laughs> Good one, me. Addering. I take one curse to get rid of this imp. I can just play this imp. Fine. What if I go this entire run and don't get a plus 10 for my holdover vent? It would be a first. I've never seen that. It would be something unique. Need to start really tunneling on the, uh... Yeah, I'm going to start tunneling the regen now, as we're getting into it here. Starting to realize we do not have enough regen to get through Arcus right now, so I need to perhaps focus a little more on that. And this is where it's supposed to amp up, basically. In the next, like, two or three turns, we're supposed to amp up like crazy. I let Ven go here, for sure. I did it intentionally. Yeah, this is where our regen is supposed to, like start to get to acceptable levels start to put up enough regen that i go maybe we can survive and 11 is promising like it's skating by this combat is good enough i'm happy with us just skating by arcus because 15 oh man if it wasn't patient seraph this is so fine it's so fine if it wasn't patient seraph but it's close Rage Adaptive Mutation, huh? <laughs> I do not have the Rage, but there was a Ritual of Battle on this run. Again, it rears its ugly head at me for the entire week. It's, uh, what is, what, what is it? Like, what is happening to me? Where are they all coming from? I don't understand. Impolates Heavies. We don't have a problem with Heavies. This is a run that has no problem with Heavies. This run has one glaring, overwhelming, oppressive issue named Seraph the Patient. Who is just going to absolutely ruin me, I think. I just don't see it right now. Uh, yeah, if I could go back in time, I would take Ritual of Battle. I I don't think I was wrong, but, you know, Rage Adaptive is nice. I think at the time it was okay, but given this information, I would just take Ritual. Take Ritual, give it two minus ones, duplicate it, power this guy up, and then swap him, right? Easy money. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, this was, this was probably free if I followed that line. But... The thing is, if I don't see Adaptive Mutation, then uh, it was bad. It would have been a bad take. Because I'd be committing to a bunch of rage, and then my Sentient just dies, because I have a bunch of rage in the deck for no reason. Uh, anyway. Impolite's not worth it. Spike of the Hellhorn's not worth it. Definitely an energy take here. Uh, yeah, uh, you know. It's... It's just a run where I went for regen and didn't get it. It happens, like it really happens. And it's not over yet, but it's looking grim. I'll give it to you straight, it's not looking good. 
Next card on the chopping block is... I think I'm just going to clear imps now. I think it's worth it to just get rid of these. Permafrost. A, a plus 10. Sick. It's about damn time. Permafrost anything? I can permafrost unleash, but ideally I draw unleash within two turns anyway. Anything I would want to hold over? I would hold over unleash. A roll. Move consume. Just absolutely worthless as usual. No surprise there. I'm gonna put a plus 10 onto a restore that's free, and then I'm gonna buy a purge. Okay. Don't want to purge too many imps because they are gonna be important for buying us turns against Seraph. But a few can go. I should probably go to the steel shop on the next floor. We'll look at it. Heaven seal. I'm down. I'm down. We need a big, big power swing. We need something really crazy to pop up for this run to not come apart here. I This is kind of a Hail Mary. I think. I'll play mid floor here. Mid floor gives us a chance to not have to take this uh, Ember Drain if I pull two, wrist, or two, re, two heal cards. Three heal cards. It had to be three. Too bad. I asked for two, I got two, and then I went, oh wait, it had to be three. Doesn't matter where you go. But yeah, if I, I go to the steel shop and I get like a large stone on an imp maybe, and then a plus 25 on another one, we can weigh down Seraph enough perhaps? Is what I'm thinking next. I respect, I don't respect that much here. Mm -hmm. uh, do I respect this much? Or should I play an imp? I should play an imp. I think it's worth more in the long term. I don't need to vent here either. I should hit it in time again. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I drew it anyway, so it didn't really matter. Should play Preserve the ones first. Ridiculous. What's he doing? It's a very minor mistake, but it's one that will probably cost me a little bit here. Ah, never mind. The whole hand's free. What was I thinking it was going to cost me? Whole hand is free. Uh, no greed, no greed. Just chill here. And we do it in the right order this time. I feel pretty bad about this overall, though. Unsurprising, I'm sure. But it's not looking too hot here. I think we'll be able to skate by this one. Yep. You remove one thing from Seraph the Patient. You remove the Incant or you remove the melee weakness. Ah, oh, the melee weakness. I, honestly, it's probably the Incant that's going to screw me. I think the Incant's the problem. So, there's a world. There is a world where we can get out of this. Edge Prior shows up. Uh, he makes everything free, but I don't need that. I like guess I don't need this. Edge Pryor is a bait for sure. In flame. It's a little late to go rage. And this is like the worst of us. Okay. I think I'll probably double the values on In Flame and I would still consider it mediocre. I'm gonna go left here, for sure. Stick to the plan. This is so bad. Ashes, Jackstrips, Priory Cloak. Ugh. This is not it. Priory Cloak is bad. Ashes is terrible. Prior Jackstrips too late. We roll. Tap taps okay. Either of these? I don't think so. If I had uh, an X cost to spare with this, right, it'd be pretty cool. Except tap. Fine. And yeah, I just need I need survivability. I, I should put a plus ten down on this guy. Actually, he's gonna be the one at the back doing the cleanup work. Okay. I roll. Give me large stone. Plus twenty five and endless works. Yeah, that works. That works. Works. Okay. We might. We're gonna sacrifice one draw here, but we might just skate by here. 
It's possible. I'm gonna give you a solid it's possible. I think that we might be able to slide right underneath the death here. It's gonna be tough though. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be very tough. I wonder if I dupe this. Do I dupe this? Let me think about it. So if I duplicate this, you're thinking, why would I do that? And the answer is it, it negates the melee weakness for us. If I have two of them. If I have two of them, then I have one on the middle floor that takes the melee weakness for the sentient, and then I have one on the top floor that baits Seraph up there every other round. Right? Is that what I need? Or do I need to just amp up regen? I think I need to amp up regen and take another double on the restore. Or I could do this. The interesting thing is if I go for the duplicate on fledgling imp, then... I can have my plan also be... Let's, let's do a hypothetical here. Say I play Fledgling Imp the max number of times. Let's give him his best case. It's... 10 rounds of Rage 3. So he's going to apply 20 Rage, which is plus 40. Nah, that's not worth it. Okay. So I'm going to go with another Restore here. Okay. And then I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove one of the bad restores. And I'm gonna remove. Now you're getting really into it here. What's bad here? It's not razor sharp for sure. For sure it's not razor sharp. We're not gonna get to like 70 regen like I'm wanting to. Uh it's probably a queen zimpling. Okay. Okay. I think that. When I lose this, because I think that this is like, I give us very low odds of survival here, but I think we gave this a good shot. I feel, I feel pretty good overall about the fact that we, g we gave this a good shot. I don't feel bad about this one. Do I ever play bottom four here? So middle four, we, we need to be very, very conservative with our uh, plays against Seraph. I wanted to play middle four, but middle four is not the one here because Seraph is there. Uh, but I can't play Fledgling Imp on the middle floor. So I have to do either bottom... I think I have to play bottom. So... Here's why, right? If I play middle floor, I'm giving Seraph two rallies, which is really bad. Jump starting by six is tough. Like, it's really, really tough. But if I play top floor, I can't play this imp on the middle floor to bait Seraph. Because he's just gonna get he's gonna get smashed every time. So I can't and and same thing for bottom floor. Although he has 26 health. If I clear waves he'll be able to bait every other round. Huh. Maybe it is right actually as I think about it. He has 26 health. If I clear the back line with vent, which I will Yeah okay. I think it's right to play top four then. I don't get to use I don't get use of my Wildwood Custodian out of this is the other thing, but that's a sacrifice we gotta make here, unfortunately. The Preserve Thorns nerf coming in here. Makes it me not play this fledgling imp. No, don't do it. We wanna be super, super greedy with our uh incants. Tragic that he went top four here. Absolutely tragic. Okay. So you're gonna go... You're gonna go bottom floor for now. Yeah, just vibing. Just chilling. Uh... Yeah, I guess I just do nothing this turn. It hurts to skip this turn, but... Maybe I do. Maybe I, I play the regens, I guess. Make sure I don't accidentally kill my sentient by doing this. 44, she'll be fine. We have Unleash for it as well. I think it's right. I do not want to Razor Sharp anything. Fine. And that round is really nice. Playing those cards is right because we get a bunch of damage on Sarah. It's worth it. Yeah, we vent this. Graft, yeah. And I don't know, I'm starting to feel 
Maybe there's a chance. I have to I have to vent this because then my Wildwood Custodian lives. It's worth it. And Seraph should go middle floor here, which is good as well. It's another round we bought where we get to just power restores. I'm gonna be absolutely blown away if we sneak this win. I am going to be... I'm gonna be very surprised. I need to hold the vent, right? But I don't need to vent this floor. Seraph probably follows this floor up though, if I am uh, understanding. So yeah, I believe Seraph's following this floor up. So I can just vent it next turn and I get the same amount of value. That floor always dies and I kill two birds with one stone where I'm gonna have to vent that floor next turn anyway. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, let's see what we draw. I'm gonna play the regen cards. Okay. I'm gonna play the regens. I'm gonna play that. And I don't play it down here, unfortunately. And I mean, but that's okay. Although I guess I could play it down here. It's more important to actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is more important to play it down here. I don't change much by venting up here. If I unleash you... Oh, wait! Huh. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. But I don't need to vent Seraph. I don't need to. What am I gaining from it, I guess? If I vent and then sting sting, I can, I can push damage, but it's not worth. It's not worth. Not worth. Right now, we just need to keep our regen number over uh, half of Seraph's attack. And if we can do that, then it's fine. Yeah. So follow it through like this. I think it's correct. The Bloating Fungus is doing some heavy lifting on this run line. Doing some very, very heavy lifting for us here. Absolutely. Punch through. Oh, uh, let me... Yeah, gonna punch through this. We get a bunch of regen out. We've snuck as many waves off of Seraph as we're going to. And we've done a pretty good job of it as well. If I vent this, I still lose my custodian. Yeah, he's dead for sure. I should hold the vent so that I can clear that floor at some point. But my custodian's always dead here. Thank you for your service, my man. He did great. Yeah, you know the deal. I don't need to play Fledgling Imp anymore, so I should not. Play the restores. Yeah, play the regen card. So it's like we're gonna end right around 30 even. Is it worth it for me to play this for 60 damage? I wonder. This is gonna be long. It's gonna be very, very long to kill Seraph, I think. But I do not believe it is worth. Okay. Uh, we'll see how we did here. It looks like there's a chance, which is wild, considering the circumstances of this run. Does not seem like there should be a chance whatsoever. Uh, but, I mean... You see in these regen numbers with bloating fungus, it's, like... Possible, dude. Gonna kill the 15 by 2. <laughs> I don't believe it. Don't play another card. It's patient, Seraph. Just end your turn. Oh my god. What an unbel- I don't believe it. Thank you, Bloating Fungus. Yeah, without Bloating Fungus, this run's dead. For sure. We die uh, right about, was it, it be at minus five, then minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus 10. So it's 10, nine, eight. It's not 10 factorial, but it's like the 10 plus nine plus eight plus seven plus six. I think around two, turn two rounds ago is where we would have died. You can do the exact math, but we would not have made it here. Bloating fungus with the hard carry for sure, but yeah, holy shit, I cannot believe we made it through that run. Absolutely wild. 
I've talked about this before, where sometimes uh, you may be in a situation where you want to play regen but can't. Like you just, I got, I want to, I want to be clear. I got offered zero regen cards on this run. There were no chances. I saw none. And that can happen with the way that cards are given to you in this game. And I hypothesized, but I've never actually had to, potentially winning a run with Rejuvenate Sentient, where you just double stack and then duplicate Restore. And they made me do it, and it went... Uh, not well. Uh, this run would have died without the Bloating Fungus, but I think against a different Seraph it could have made it. Specifically, I think Sap Seraph, we could have made it. Actually, yeah, only Sap Seraph, I think it would have been playable without Bloating Fungus because Chaste cuts your regen and you can't put enough regen up in three turns. Maybe you could. I think against a different Seraph, you just are a little more aggressive with your cutting of cards, right? But yeah, I'm trying to hypothesize how you would win that with a different Seraph, and I don't think there is a way. But also, big shout out to Horned Warrior, who I almost skipped for saving my life. Like, yeah, really, I a lot of ways that this run gets away from me. And it's honestly, it's kind of lucky that I won here. Because if I, it's not really lucky, I guess. I stopped and I thought out the decisions in the early game where I was like, well, Horned Warrior is good enough for now. I don't lose anything by adding him, right? And then when I rolled the shop, I found perfect upgrades for him. And when I thought about it enough, I was like, oh yeah, and then I should roll this because I don't want to greed and die. And greeting would have actually cost me the run. And died. So, you know. Because the, the idea behind the greed plan was I greed and then I hit something really good in the next ring. But instead I hit something really good there. And yeah, that was a, that was a tough win, dude. That was a tough one. But I'm really... I'm, I'm really... I'm proud of that win. That was, a, that was not a... Not a win that I would have gotten uh, if I had played this run earlier in my life. Or maybe I would have, because I would have just played, uh... I would have probably just played Spike Sentient, because there was earlier in time with Monster Train, I hated Rejuvenate. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.